is if you are following all the steps that I've suggested in my video one, during week one, you are improving your pronunciation, listening and speaking. You are tired. Hi everyone. How are you all? Well, I hope you are doing great. Your English speaking practice is going great and you are improving a lot. I'm sure about it. If you're doing efforts, you will be improving. Are you excited for today's lesson? Well, today I'm going to tell you something that you have to incorporate for at least 15 days in your schedule. So today is going to be a seven days English song listening challenge, which you have to follow for two weeks. That means you have to dedicate total 14 days. In total, you have to dedicate 14 days. So this is going to be a great thing for your English listening skills, for improving your pronunciation and also for your English speaking skills. Because I have told you how you can practice your English speaking skills with songs. For that, you have to watch the video one in this particular series that is learn English with songs. And then there is video number two, seven song recommendations, seven song recommendations in order to improve your English. So those seven recommendations, song recommendations, now they are needed. They are highly needed in this particular video. The link to those particular videos, both the videos are given in the description box below. From there, you can find them. And both the videos are going to be important because this particular lesson is connected with those videos. You need all those seven songs and you need to follow those steps that I'm telling you in video number one. So let's get started. How you have to do this seven day English listening skills challenge with songs. Now what you have to do is, I have told you seven songs recommendation. In that seven song recommendation, I have given you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven songs in a series. And I did it deliberately. What I have done is I have already graded those songs with their difficulty level. So what you have to do is you have to start with a song that is not so difficult in level. That is song number one for Monday. I think you are able to catch up now. So in this listening challenge, what you have to do is you have to listen to the song number one. I think that was perfect by Ed Sheeran. So you have to listen to that song on Monday because that is going to be the least difficult. Now song number two on Tuesday. Similarly, song number three on Wednesday, song number four on Thursday, five on Friday, six on Saturday and seven on Sunday, which is going to be the most difficult and challenging song in this song series. But do not worry, the song is not so difficult to understand. I have kept this in mind while recommending the song that the song must be like that, that you are able to understand it. So do not worry, you will be able to understand even the song number seven. Why? Because you already have six days of practice. Are you understanding? The song number seven is challenging, but you have six days of practice. Listening to the song, singing along with the song, whatever steps I've told you in video one, you followed those steps for six days. Hence, when you listen to the song number seven on day seven, that is Sunday, you will be able to cope up with the song easily. So do not worry about it. Do not worry about the song level. Plus, I would recommend you not to listen to any song beforehand. Do not do that. If you've already listened to the songs, you have uh, watched my videos, followed all the suggestions, listen to the songs, that's completely fine. That's not a worry. But when you're starting this particular challenge, do not listen to these songs out of their place. That is something you need to do. Listen to the song whenever they are recommended. So one on day one, not any other song. If you want to listen to something that you love, that's fine. But when you're doing this particular activity, particular steps, you're doing this particular task, you have to follow the sequence of the song dedicatedly. That is something you have to do. Now you have to do this for two weeks. Now what is going to be different in these two weeks? First of all, when you are following the steps, you have to dedicate at least 10 minutes in a day. 10 minutes and I think 10 minutes are easy to give. 
so if you are giving 10 to 15 minutes for this particular activity that is going to be perfect it's okay and if you find the song to be long that the song is so long i'm not able to cover all the steps while listening to the song or while dedicating my time it's taking more time what you can do is you can skip the last paragraph something that i do something that i recommend but that is going to be the for the week one you can skip the last para during the week one that's it that is something that you can do if you are thinking that you are short on time now when you are listening to the song during week one do not exaggerate yourself follow the steps now come to week number two when you're listening to all these songs on week number two so you'll feel a difference you will find it easier to listen to the song and hence you have to listen to the whole song now you cannot skip any paragraph that's the thing now what is going to be so different in week two in week two you are going to note down the areas where you think you have improved your english now this is going to help you a lot in week one you have listened to the song followed all the steps that i did now in week two you have to focus on your vocabulary and you have to focus on the areas of improvement areas of improvement you have to write down wherever you're feeling that this was difficult for me last week and now in this week i'm finding this to be easier now this is easy for me note it down and celebrate the victory because it is important to understand where you're improving so if you know where you're improving, you'll feel encouraged to do more, to learn more and to improve more. That is important. And also you have to do some vocabulary hunting during week number two. So during week number two, what you have to do is when you're listening to the song, listen with the intention of finding new words, as many as you can. Do not stop the song and search for the words. No, that is not what you have to do. What you have to do is, you have to write them down as you are listening. Do not pause the song in order to write the words. No. Try to catch up with the song. Listen to it once, twice, thrice. Pause in between. It's okay. I know. You cannot write all the words quickly because song will go on. And we speak way faster than we write. So I do understand. You need to pause it in between. But do not pause it after every two seconds. Do not do that. Try to keep up with the song and note all the vocabulary words that are there. Now what you have to do is you have to write all the words in your vocabulary diary that I have suggested in one of my other videos. And they are going to be something new for you. You have to go find the meaning, look uh, at the dictionary and find the meaning of this particular word or the words that you have come up with. And then... Also look at the example sentences. So that's it. That's something that you need to do. Now what you're doing is, if you are following all the steps that I've suggested in my video one, during week one, you are improving your pronunciation, listening and speaking. You are targeting three of the English skills. Listening, speaking and pronunciation. Very important. And during week two, you are targeting your areas of improvement and your vocabulary that is again also really very important so we are addressing lots and lots of areas at a single time and this activity is going to make you comfortable with listening you'll be able to listen to english movies too if you have listened to songs for seven days you'll find it easier to listen to english movies too and this is going to be great so that's it for today that is it take this seven days English songs listening challenge for two weeks and see the improvement. If you have any suggestions, if you want to suggest me any topic, do tell me, write it in the comment box below and I'll take it. If you have any query, do write it and I'll make a video on it. I'll be happy to make a video on the topics that you suggest. I'm looking forward to suggestions from all of you. So that's it for today. I hope you like the lesson and you are going to follow it. This is something that you can do easily, even with a busy routine. That's why I created this particular lesson so that you can do something in order to improve various areas of English along with a busy routine. 
Do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe my channel if you're new here. I'm your CELTA certified English language tutor Shivangi Gupta. See you next time at 8 a.m. sharp. Till then, take care. Bye.